My name is Billy Oliva. I'm the executive chef of the Delmonico's Restaurant Group. We're here today in Delmonico's, the oldest restaurant in the country, and we're going to prepare for you a red grouper with a Parmesan crust. So welcome to Delmonico's, and let's get started. Here are all our ingredients for our Parmesan crusted red grouper. We have some soft butter. We have a little bit of chives, a little bit of Italian flat leaf parsley. We have some roasted garlic cloves here, just so you could take a look. And we have, what we did with these roasted garlic cloves is we pureed them. If you have a food processor, they can go in a food processor. If you don't, you can smash them with the back of a knife. It works just as good. We have a little panko breadcrumbs, some lemon, some beautiful extra virgin olive oil, and some Parmesan cheese. Here we have a little Malden sea salt, some black pepper, which we'll use later. So we're going to go ahead and start our Parmesan crust. Very simple, not too complicated, a little bit of breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs, they stay nice and crispy. Then we're going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and we just want to wetten or moisten the, the breadcrumbs a little bit so they won't burn on us. We're going to mix that. I'm using a spoon. Uh, you could use your hands, works just as well. I'm going to mix this a little bit. So you can see now the, the, the breadcrumbs are coated with the olive oil. It's going to give us a nice brown color when we cook them, when we bake them. It's going to help them to stick to the fish a little bit. Now we're going to add a little bit of chives, a little bit of Italian parsley, a little bit of sea salt, a couple of turns of fresh, fresh cracked black pepper. I'm going to give it a quick squirt of lemon juice for a little acid. We're going to mix those up again. And then we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And these recipes can be, can go according to your taste. If you like a lot of cheese, can be more cheese. If you like less cheese, you can use a little bit of less cheese. Depends on if you're counting calories or not. Me, I'm not counting calories. So we have all our ingredients mixed here. Just gonna make sure they're, they're well combined. And then we'll be ready to go in a second. It's been seasoned. Very simple Parmesan crust. Now let's get ready to cook our fish. So here we have our red grouper filet. At Delmonico, sometimes we use black grouper, sometimes we use red grouper. Um, at home, if you can't find grouper, you wanna use another fish, codfish, halibut, even salmon you can, you can use. So today we're using red grouper. And the first thing we're gonna do is season our fish. Uh, very important, when you cook, you season in stages. So we're gonna season with a little sea salt. I'm gonna flip it over. I season both sides. You should always season both sides of everything and a little fresh cracked black pepper. I like to use black pepper. I'm, with this dish, I'm not worried about little black speckles. The fish is ready to go to the pan. Well, now we're at the stove here. Our red grouper seasoned, ready to cook. So first thing we do, we're gonna add a little bit of blended oil to our pan. I'm gonna coat the bottom of the pan with the oil. What I like to do is get a nice color on the, on the grouper. So we're gonna sear it on one side, get a nice kind of caramelized um, golden brown color. As you can see, our oil is smoking. That means it's hot enough, ready to go into the pan. A little trick, when you put something in a pan, hold the pan upright so the oil is away from you. And you're gonna place it down into the pan, and we're gonna let it cook. Once it's in the pan, it's not stuck to the pan. Very simple, let it cook, don't touch it. You don't have to move it around too much. You'll see the edges will start to turn nice and golden brown. Um, when we see that kind of all the way around, we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna take it out of the pan, put it on a baking tray, put our crumbs on it, pop it in the oven until it's ready. 400 degree oven for about 12 minutes or so. You can use a spatula, you can use a pair of tongs. This fish is sturdy enough, I'm gonna use a pair of tongs. And you can see we have a beautiful golden brown color on it. If you have good stainless steel pans, you can put the crumbs on right in the pan and move the whole pan to the oven. Fish is seared off. So now this is kind of a, a two-step procedure here, real simple. We're gonna give it a little coating of butter and a little coating of roast garlic puree just to kick up the flavor a little bit. Very simple. Just gonna rub the, the fish with a little butter. And now we have our roast garlic puree. Just gonna take a little dab of that and kinda smear it all over the fish just to kick up the flavor a little bit. Now for our Parmesan breadcrumbs. And again, this is uh, totally up to you how heavy and how light you want on the breadcrumbs. Parmesan crusted grouper ready to go in the oven. Our Parmesan crusted grouper has come out of the oven 
and we're going to make a, a real simple easy plate here. Earlier we grilled off some asparagus, we just reheated those quickly. So we're going to make a, a nice simple plate here. Just a couple of pieces of these uh, jumbo asparagus that have been grilled. Our fish is ready to come off our plate. Just going to set that down on top of our asparagus. And here we have some micro greens, uh, some micro radish and different types of spicy greens. And we're just going to dress that lightly with a quick spray of olive oil. And just a little micro green salad on top. Real simple, nice dinner. Parmesan crusted red grouper with grilled asparagus. And that's how we do Parmesan crusted grouper. I'm executive chef Billy Oliva for the Domonico's Restaurant Group. Please visit us at domonicosrestaurantgroup.com. Let's eat.